Oh, what's up, buds? Back like I never left. Welcome to Wanna Buy It. And today we have the Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds. Now, I've been testing these out for a bit, as you can see from this. I've been using it at work uh, since I got them. They're all beat up now, the cases. Uh, so a little look on the inside. Now we're gonna break these down. These are going for 280 right now on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description below so you guys can click that, see the current price, see other people's reviews. But these are going for 280, two different colors. You'll get this one right here and then you can get black. So it is IPX4 waterproof. That means you're gonna be good in the rain, sweating, all that. You wanna work out in these, you're gonna be good, you're gonna be set. Now, they are wingtip styled and it's easy to just pull you know, the tips off and switch them. And with the wingtip, you'll get three different kinds, you know, smaller or larger, depending on your ears. And it's meant for when it sits in your ear, it's supposed to sit under like, this part right here and just hold in really tight. You guys won't be able to really see, but it's supposed to just sit in there. And I never had a problem with these. And this, I just had the default ones on and it sat in my ear, no problem. I really like these a lot when it came to the comfort. They look huge, they're big, but they feel so light in your ear and it's the weirdest thing. Um, I had them for long uses because with the battery life, you get up to six hours uh i think i got around five or probably close to six i don't know it just they didn't die throughout my whole day at work unlike the beats uh studio buzz those died on me like four and a half hours it for sure passed that um and i had a long day at work today and these still lasted the whole time i was on the phone talking listening to music and podcast so you will get about like five hours ish out of these and um, with the case, it's about 18 hours as well inside the case. So you're gonna be covered for the whole day, especially if you're using a mono one ear at a time. All right, so as you can see on ear, they are really big and, and it's, some people think it's a good thing. They know that you're talking on there and stuff. But one thing I will say about the size is that the mics are really good on here because people say they hear me really clear with these earbuds on. So I think this might be one of the better mics. I don't know. I didn't have no one try them out and talk to me. I know I hear everyone clear, but when I talk to people on this, I don't have a problem. They say they hear me really good. So that's really good. And that's one thing they do hype up about these earbuds is that it has great quality. So they are touch control, so you can swipe it up and down to you know turn on the music and all that. Double tap to switch to noise canceling, transparent, normal mode, whatever mode you wanna to go to. So you can do that. So they are touch control uh, earbuds. So you'll be set. Now the noise canceling on these are pretty good. We did do a noise canceling test already when we unboxed these. So I'll put that clip right here and I'll talk to you on the other end. So here goes the clip right now. Now I wanna say it blocked out 90, probably 95% because I really couldn't, I didn't hear none of the vocals or none of the words that were coming off of that song. Some of the hi-hats were bleeding through a little bit, but I wanna say they did their thing. And remember, I'm sitting right next to the speaker. The speaker is really loud. So that's what the noise canceling was. These are pretty good when it comes to noise canceling. Even when you put them on and you're not even listening to music like I did right now, it's just like, oh yeah, there's a little bit more noise comes through. Uh, one thing I will say, um, one thing I did not like about these uh, was the connection time from when someone calls me and then I put them in, I'm gonna try to do it like, all right. Oh, okay, I'm at work, I'm like, all right. Okay. And then finally it'll connect and I can answer the call. And, and you're really pushing it sometimes. You're like, man, that phone, I'll probably have one more ring before I miss the call. So they took kind of long to connect to my phone, like right when I'm taking them out of the case and trying to get them in my ear. That's one thing that did frustrate me because every time I was trying to get, I was getting a call at work, I'm trying to hurry up and get to it. And sometimes I miss the call. Sometimes I'm like at the last ring or two. All right, so when it comes to the sound quality now, that's a big thing when it comes to Bose. Some people love Bose and they're on their nuts really tough. And some people hate Bose with all their guts and they think they make everything horrible and whatever. Um, good thing is I'm in neither camp. I really don't care. I'm just a consumer, try stuff out. So when it comes to the sound quality of these earbuds, I will say that I like the bass on these and I like the mids. That's where the vocals are. I like how they work. The highs, they were a little too high for me and they were harsh. I think they were really harsh in these earbuds. And what is funny is I tried the headphones out. That wasn't the problem. The headphones sounded good. 
I think they are harsh with the highs on here. But all in all, Buzz, um, it is a 280 product. It's really expensive. If that's in your budget and you, you know, you're like, oh, I got that. I buy that right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to buy two of them. I think these are, you know, worth buying. But if you're not in that budget and you're stretching your money and you're saving your money for these, personally, I would say wait till Black Friday. Hopefully they drop to $200. That's the range I think these are worth. That extra 80 if you got it, ball out, get them. But if you don't got it, just wait. You know, wait till they drop to 200. I think that they're way better in that range for me if I was to recommend it. Wait for it to drop in that 200 range. But that's me, Buzz, and that's what I think of these earbuds. They are really good earbuds. Uh, definitely, I like the comfort. Even though they're big, they didn't give me a problem. They didn't make my ears hurt. They didn't make my ears tired or nothing. I was rocking with them the whole day, and then I take them out. And I'm like, oh, this is a real road. It's really crazy. I like the um, noise counting on these as well. So if you guys like this little review of this, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to all my subscribers now. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it, and I really appreciate all your support on all my videos, all the comments, all that. Much love to you guys. Thank you so much. Now, if you guys want to see some more videos, if your budget is a little bit lower in that $60 range, wait till the end of this video. I have other videos up there. You guys can check that out, see some more budget options, or see the... I think it's the Studio Beats, the Studio Buds. I did a review on that as well. You guys can check that out. But as always, Buds, you be safe out there. I'll see you in my next video. My name is Rodney, and this was Wanna Buy It. Peace.